but got my volume up. Hey everybody, welcome to Little John's Yarns. I'm Alicia. <clears throat> if this is your very first time here, usually what we do is sip wine and talk about crochet. But today I am a little bit under the weather. I got my second uh, COVID shot and it has completely taken me out. I thought I'd be able to survive, but we're gonna make it through this together since I wasn't here last week. So thank you so much everybody for joining me here today. Today, we're gonna be looking at 10 crochet bee theme patterns. They're all pretty interesting. This whole roundup, if you're um, interested in seeing or trying any of these patterns, all the links will be down below. So you don't have to listen to me chit chat and talk forever. Just go down to the description box and everything is there. So I'm gonna see what's going on in the chat and see who's here. I see my girl Najat is here, welcome back. I see Caitlin, welcome. Who else is here? Ah, oh, Marilyn, hi from Illinois. I'm a crochet tutorial junkie. Then you've come to the right place. All right, so unfortunately this one is not gonna be a very long live stream. Cause like I said, I'm struggling through this, but as usual, uh, if anybody donates, if I get a super chat during a donation, you guys will get to spin the wheel of patterns. Let me show you what that one looks like. The wheel of patterns is this, this is for anybody who donates. You get a chance to get, um, one of my patterns for free. And also you do not have to donate for this during this live stream. I'm going to be giving away two skeins of this yarn you do not have to donate to get this yarn in order to win this yarn you just have to pay attention during this live stream and i'm going to ask you a question and the first one to answer it correctly will win this yarn so let me show you what this yarn is this yarn is from uh knit crates that link will be down below this is audine wool this is called bloom this is made from alpaca how much 80% alpaca wool, 10% silk, and 10% camel. This is a DK weight yarn. Check this out. Can you see how it's, it's, can you see that? It's woven slightly different than yarn wool. It's just like it's more like a knitted together. It's a very pretty yarn. So unfortunately my camera isn't that great, so the color doesn't come in, but this is a very pretty color. So make sure you pay attention to everything during this live stream so you can win this. So we are gonna hop right into the patterns. Let me get my notes ready. And let's check out these bees. All right, the first pattern we're gonna be looking at is called the Chunky Bee Slippers. Who says bumblebees have to be yellow? I'm in love with the lavender use of these adorable crochet slippers. The detail in this designs are all just too cute and really doesn't look tricky either. You can make these with just basic stitches. <laughs> The designer of this is on Riblar Free Patterns. There we go. This is actually pretty cute. I would probably actually make these in yellow. Let's look through the pictures real quick. And all of these patterns are free. And if you're looking for them, just go to my blog down in the uh, description box below. Ooh, these are super cute. I think I have that yarn like sitting behind me for like ever. Let me scroll down to the second one. This is called the QB. Have, uh, you have probably seen graph gans made from the corner to corner crochet technique before. Here's a new one for the books, a C2C Amagurumi Bumblebee. The unique square design is perfect for adorning the top of your shelves or serving as a book in. The designer of this is one of my favorite designers. This is Nine Inspired. I forgot, usually before I go into the a whole trip of all these patterns, I like to ask you a question. So the question I'm gonna ask right now, so uh, I, right now I want you to brag. What are you doing? What are you working on? It doesn't have to be crochet, but before you comment, make sure you put question marks in front of it so I know to bring your comment to the front. So I have something to, I guess it's not my brag, but this is for my son. This morning, his grandmother surprised him she's taken into Disney World. He had no clue. She had this plan for so long, but my son being the awkward little boy that he is, his reaction was so crazy. Actually, after this, I might leave it in the uh, description box. I have my own private family YouTube. It doesn't, it's not shared with anybody. It's like where I share all my personal like it's like a photo album online, but it's all private and unlisted. This is how I store all my videos. I might uh, share the link with you guys because his reaction to it was crazy. We're like, you're going to Disney World. 
He was like, uh, uh, <laughs> but he was happy. So let's see what's going on. Do you guys have anything to brag about? Let's see. Abby says a crochet hat, granny square, crochet heart, granny square, car granny square cardigan. Haven't even been drinking today. <laughs> that is super cute. Let's see. Ruth Ann is making a throw pillow. Let's see what else is going on. My girl, Caitlin working on starting my business, making jewelry, blankets, shawls, and other works. Congratulations to you. I don't have my uh, typical wine glass or cup. Maybe I should get my daughters to make me some tea, but cheers to you. And I'm so proud of you starting this uh, business. Ooh, an Asgard shawl. I wonder what that looks like. That sounds um, pretty pretty because I love like the whole of uh, the Vikings and all that type of stuff. So it's pretty cool. Let's see. Oh no, my girl XD Symphony. She says, I think I may be allergic to alpaca wool. Every time I use it, my hands get super itchy. Same with rabbit fur. I've never worked with anything with on um, rabbit fur before, but that stinks. So oh uh, I'm sorry. This is a uh, 80% alpaca. All right. Let's see what else is going on. Hmm. <laughs> Victoria says, I'm addicted to making jellyfish now. Are you making like the big jellyfish that you see on like uh, the TikTok where you take an amigurumi pattern, but you use it with like the big thick yarn? Hmm. I think I might try to make those bee shoes. It might not be a bee, but it might just be a big bulky shoe. All right. So we're going to get into the next two patterns. The question uh, that I'm going to ask right now. So some of you guys already answered. What? are you working on right now? So let's hop back into these next couple. And guys, if you're just getting here and you're seeing that I'm talking entirely too much, this is what I do during my live stream. If you don't have to stay around, I got all the links for all of these patterns down below. So let's hop back in. This is called the uh, Bumble, did I share my screen? Make sure I did, I did. Sometimes I don't share my screen. This is called the Bumblebee key ring. What could be cuter than this tiny amigurumi bumblebee keychain? How about three? These quick and cute little bees will be make an excellent last minute crochet gift. If you've never done crochet amigurumi before, then I would definitely recommend this pattern as a good one to uh, start with. The designer of this pattern is Cat Knit. These are super cute. There we go. The next one we're going to hop into is the Honeycomb Cow. Like I said, all these crochet patterns are bee theme. Throwing on a cute cow on your way out the door is such a quick and easy way to instantly upgrade any outfit. Trust me, a lightweight cow, cow in a soft, breathable material is wearable all year long, warm or cold. This design is made using the overlay crochet technique, which involves working your stitches around the post. The designer of this is called the Cookie Snob. All right, those are all beautiful patterns. So the question that I asked you, what are you working on right now? So this, it's not something I'm working on. I actually just finished. Everybody's making bucket hats. So I figured I might as well hop into the uh, crochet bucket hat. I'm going to be releasing this pattern uh, next, this coming Wednesday. So look how cute that is. So what are you guys working on? Let's see. It doesn't have to be about crochet. It can be about anything. So make sure you put question marks right in front of it. There we go. Michelle says, a shawl from Bag of Day in Red Heart, roll with it in diamonds. So pretty how it sparkles and dark gray heather cocoon cardigan. Ooh, I love those cocoon cardigans. The cardigan is something for me. I don't know when the last time I made something for me. I don't know. I actually don't know when the last time I made something specifically for my kids either. I mean, I make hats because I'm making a pattern and then I'll just give them away. But now when they ask, hey, mom, can you make this? I'm like, listen, I don't got time to make that because I have to make something else. <laughs> uh, Caitlin's working on her niece blanket. Razia, I'm working on a teal cardigan. Teal is one of my favorite colors that pop. Actually, my favorite color is purple, but I never wear it. My favorite color to wear is yellow. And one of my favorite colors to see, I know that's like three different things, is teal. I just love the way it pops on camera. I probably think that way because I'm a YouTuber and I need colors that pop so people will see my thumbnails. 
Let's see what else. Amy, she says, I'm working on a set of coasters and I've just finished some slippers. Oh, congratulations to you. I love slippers. Actually, those are ones I usually keep for myself or the slippers because I make them so often. And once I wash them, I just forget about them and just make another pair. Hmm. Let's see. I will look at another one. Oh, Abby says, I'm working on a fluffy jumper. Hmm, that sounds super cute. So now. We are going to hop into the next few patterns. And remember, guys, if I'm talking too much, all the pattern links is down in the description box below. So we did the honeycomb. And now we're over here. Let me scroll down and pull up my notes. This is called the bee pot holder. This heirloom quality bee pot holder is made in the tapestry, tapestry crochet technique. I like tapestry crochet because there's uh, less ends to weave in and I don't have to worry about any large holes in my work. All the pot holders is, uh, excuse me, all of the pot holders in this designer's fabulous farmhouse collection are perfectly practical and gorgeous too. The designer of this, Rafa Musa Designs. And remember the patterns are will be down in the description box below. Oh, I forgot to ask you your next question. Guys, when I come back to the next screen, if you have anything to brag about right now, just tell me. This is going to be a nice, easy, relaxed uh, live stream. Just put question marks in front of it so I know to bring your question to the front or your comment to the front. The next pattern is called the bumblebee hat. You never know when you might need a bumblebee hat. This pattern is available in sizes from newborn to adult. There's also a matching tushy cover for newborn sizes that per that's perfect for a newborn photo shoot. What's better than spring for a bit of bee appreciation? The designer of this is Repeat Crafter Me. This is cute. When I first started out uh, selling my handmade goods, like my crochet, I did a lot of these like baby photo shoot outfits. I did rabbits. I did ladybugs, uh, turtles. I used to get a lot of those new moms and baby showers and um, photo shoots were like great money makers for me. So once again, we are back. I'm going to go into the comments and tell me something you have to brag about. Anything what's going on great with your family. Let me know. All right. And like I said, today's live stream is probably going to be quicker than normal. I got my COVID vaccination, the second shot. The first one was easy peasy. This second one took me out. My mom had her. She was fine. My mother-in-law had her. She was fine. My daughter had her second dose. She was fine. She just ended up sleeping all day. For me, I feel like this is lingering. Oh. All right. So let's see what's going on. Leanne, I crochet my own jacket. First, I made a filet-like body, and then I crocheted over it vertically. Ooh, I wish YouTube had ways to like recollect view pictures, but I guess crazy people could pop on and show crazy pictures, but I know you wouldn't. <laughs> Unapologetically Mocha. Daughter graduated from college and got hired by the organization that she interned with. Congratulations. I don't have my cup with me to say cheers, but I bet you are so proud. That is wonderful. Victoria. I've been making as many things as possible. So in September, I can open my Etsy shop and I have tons to sell. That is an excellent idea. But I always like to recommend anybody that's uh, doing Etsy. You don't want to make too a stockpile of something because you never know if it will sell or, oh, we got a super chat and my lights didn't go. It would help if I plugged it in. There we go. Nothing is like plugged in. How horrible. But thank you so much for super chatting. Let's see who super chatted. Cheryl, finishing my daughter's hoodie. Ooh, I've not yet made a hoodie. But I want to get back to the topic of what to make for your crochet shop. I would say make a lot of things so you have pictures in your shop, but don't make more than one. It's easy to have somebody say, ooh, I like that picture, and then make it. Don't wear yourself out making a whole bunch of stock items unless you're going to like a craft show or something. Okay. Let's see. Ooh. Kathy says, I love your turban girl, hottie. Thank you so much. Ashley, like I said, that uh, second vaccine took me out. 
Usually I have my hair all done nice and pretty on Saturdays. <clears throat> I just didn't have the energy for it. So I took one of my head wraps and just twisted it up. This uh, turban hairstyle, it was actually from a 1950s video tutorial on how to make a wrap. I guess want to show it's something so simple. I know I shouldn't be doing this on camera, but look, this is just a regular scarf like so. And I tied a knot. You roll up the tops, stick it in the side, roll up the top, stick it in the side. And look how cute that turban is just by doing that. So thank you. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna hop back into this. So guys, if you have any questions for me or you wanna talk about what's going on, comment right now, but make sure you put question marks in front of it. If you have question marks, uh, question marks, questions for me, I love talking about crochet business. Uh, the last comment just revved it up in me. So if you have any questions about that, I'm always here to help. I love sharing all this like crochet information. I always think there's more than enough money in this for everybody. So let's hop back into these. Where were we? Did we do the bumblebee pillow? Not yet. This is called the, did I share my screen? Just making sure I did. This is called the bumblebee pillow. I wouldn't be surprised to see this amazing bumblebee pillow in a store window display. Everything about this design is totally on trend right now with the rich texture and the bobble stitches to the realistic top view of its uh, the bee itself. I also love how the back of the pillow isn't just plain. The designer of this, while wow, they dream. I like that. Nope, I don't want that. The next pattern, this is called Let It Be Wrap. A gorgeous shade of gold makes quite an impression in this fashionable and lightweight crochet wrap. I love how the unique lace uh, lace work captures the unique shape of the bumblebee in a fun and abstract way. The easier than you look design only calls for treble crochet and chain stitches. All right, so what's going on? Actually, I think it's time for somebody to win some yarn. What do you think? So I was talking about something earlier and the first person to answer correctly will win this yarn. So I hope you guys were paying attention while I was talking. Right now, everybody stop commenting. I'm gonna mark the comments. All right, and the winner that I choose is from my angle. Everybody's YouTube viewers different, but we're winning choosing by my angle. So where is my son's grandmother taking him this week? Where did she surprise him with? Let's see, the first one to answer. Well, oh, here we go, I already see it. Oh, 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 a whole bunch of people. But I think it was, was it Toro? Let me scroll. Yes. From my angle, it was, let me show you, share my screen. Can you guys see? It was Toro 8 Star right below my mark. So congratulations, Toro 8 Star. Please make sure you email me at littlejohnstars at gmail.com. My email address will be down below and I'm gonna send you this yarn. Thank you so much for participating. At one point in time, I was putting yarn on a wheel of patterns, but I didn't like the vibe of that. I didn't like people trying to donate and win yarn. So from now on, any yarn that I give away, you do not have to donate to my live chat to receive yarn. It's anybody who takes the time to watch me and participate, you get a chance to win. So let's see what's going on with people. Any questions? Oh, you're welcome. Victoria says, I'm so happy you said that because I want to make tons of different things. I get more bored of making the same thing. So only one or two of the same thing. Actually, just make one for the photo of your shop. It's funny, whenever I made something or sold something, I made a beautiful picture, let's say the hat picture, beautiful crochet hat, and a hat was in yellow. They're like, oh, I love that hat. Do you have it in purple? 
And no matter what, I would have to create the pattern over again because you never know exactly what color they want. So make one beautiful for the picture of your shop. You can tell them it's available in other colors. Then just go from there. <laughs> Congratulations, Najat. Opened a savings account to save money to get my master's degree. Good job for you. I feel bad I don't have my cup to give you a cheers today. <laughs> Kobe says, I finally convinced my friend to start crochet. We're both working on cardigans and blankets at this time. Although, very different patterns. Is, are they a beginning crocheter? Who man, to do that. I remember I considered myself a beginner for probably like 20 years and didn't realize I can crochet something more than just a square. Let's see. What did Rizia say? I'm having trouble with the ribbing on my cardigan. I think I did something wrong because it's curvy. Do you have any advice on how I can fix it now that it's almost done with the cardigan? Well, if you're noticing it's starting to wobble, I'm guessing the side of your cardigan, you're putting even stitches around the side of it. Let me pull this down. Even stitches around the side of it. So you probably put too many stitches per, per row. So if you make that uh, border around your cardigan with less stitches, you won't get that whole wobbly look. And plus with a cardigan, once you put it on, probably the weight from the crochet will straighten it out. So you might not have to worry. If it's already done, try it on and see if it's wobbly. If not, you might have to take out all the edging of it and put less single crochets so it won't wobble. Hope that made sense. There we go. It makes sense to you, Jada? No. <laughs> My daughter doesn't crochet. Uh, Caitlin, what is the best way to get people to buy your products? Everything I sell is handmade. The best way to get people to buy your products is to be everywhere and to be uh, seen. That's what I try to tell anybody that sells their items. I know for some people, social media is scary and people refuse to get on it. But if you want to make online sales, it is the only way to go and it is absolutely free. Personally, uh, myself, I was a member of tons of Facebook groups. I'm not talking about the crochet Facebook groups where everybody's sharing their patterns. I'm talking about the specific selling groups, like the flea market groups, not just handmade, just selling groups. I would post in those groups twice a day. And eventually I was so well known, people would buy from me. Even though if they didn't buy from me today, probably about six months down the road, if they wanted something for a baby shower, they wanted somebody that crocheted, they were instantly going to think of me because all they see is me. <laughs> so make sure you're constantly posting online. Uh, one of my friends, Shanna Given, she gave me a great tip. Walk around with your card in your purse and wear your crochet. So people are always going to say, oh, that is beautiful. Or she also said, be friends with people who are in groups or uh, sororities or fraternities and make something for one of those people. Somebody else is going to want the exact same thing. So just make sure you're seen. XD Symphony, what do you recommend making for a baby shower? The person who the baby shower is for also has a two-year-old daughter. Ooh, I'm about to say it's summertime. Maybe not any matching hats. I don't know. I don't know. I, what'd you say? Baby shoes. Oh, my daughter said baby shoes yeah. for the baby. Are cute. They are super cute. Or maybe make a cute little amigurumi for the sister because she's going to be a big sister, like a big sister bear. Oh, that'd be cute. That may take some time, but that sounds super cute though. Good idea, Jada. Here we go. So let's hop into the last few couple. All right, so once again, if you guys have any questions for me, make sure you put comment question marks in front of it so I can bring your comment to the front. So now we're gonna hop into the very next ones. Where are we at on here? We did the B, we did that. We're on our last two, uh-oh. We're, there it is. Let me scroll down a little bit. This is called the Busy Bumblebee Blanket. Let me make sure I shared the screen. Sorry, guys. I always do that. Okay. This is called the Bumblebee Blanket. 
Modular projects are perfect for taking on the go. Each hexagon of this adorable blanket is crocheted separately. Don't worry about sewing though, because you'll be using continuous join methods that will let your crochet and hexagons put them all together it's super easy. So the designer of this is Stitched Up by Emma for Bella Coco. Any more pictures of this? This is super cute. You're going to go do adult things? Where are you going, daughter? I have probably done some food truck thing and get the driver's license. Oh, well, um, you doing a food truck. I'm sorry, I'm talking to my daughter. You doing your food truck first? Probably. Why? I was going to say, if you. That sounds pretty tasty. That food truck. I don't know the type of food trucks are going there, but I can try. I can uh, cash app you. Okay, thanks, daughter. Okay, sorry, my they're having a food truck event in town, and my daughter's going out to go get some food. I'm like, I want some food, too. So, luckily, having a 20-year-old with a car, they can pick up food for you. <laughs> Let's get into the last, very last pattern. Oh, my goodness. I just realized the one person, Cheryl, you donated earlier, and I forgot to let you spin the Wheel of Patterns. We're going to do that now, Cheryl. It just hit me now. My brain is all cloudy today. I'm so, Cheryl, if you're still watching, this is for you. I'm sorry I forgot to spin. You win the crochet sand sandals. Ooh, where are they? I think I have them up here. There they are, the crochet sandals. So make sure you email me. I am so sorry for forgetting to let you spin the wheel. Forgive me. I'm sorry. A little cloudy today. Now, officially, the last pattern. Okay. This is called the Honeycomb Trellis Tote Bag. I like big bags and I cannot lie. I would totally use this cute tote as an everyday bag or a beach bag. You never know what you might need when you're out and about. This design uses single crochet stitches for the solid parts and the honeycomb stitch for the decorative lace work. The designer for this is Crochet For You. That is super cute. I wonder what type of yarn that is. That's simple yarn. I want to see what type of yarn this is for the panner. Please be patient with me. Oh, it's ice yarn. I was supposed to say it looks pretty thick. That's gorgeous. All right, guys. Whew. So do you have any questions for me? If you do, put comment marks in front of it and we'll discuss it. So let's see. Here we go. Rizia. Yeah, that's why it's curvy. I can't frog it because I'm way past that. I was thinking of uh, bunching the ribbing and sewing it on the inside. I hope that makes sense. But if you have any other ideas. Not sure. <gasps> Cheer. Okay. What pattern did you win right now in the description box? littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. Sometimes people try to send it to my website email, but I don't use that one. So down below, littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. I'm going to get you your patterns today, I promise. I don't know how I missed you. There we go. Uh, do I need to block a baby blanket? If you want it to look nice, it all depends on what type of you um you use. When I use like uh Karen Simply Soft for a baby blanket, that yarn naturally drapes nicely. But usually people don't notice. But if it's kind of wobbly, you can block it. It's all up to you. But sometimes people like to do it just for presentation reasons. Oh, here we go. What yarn did you use for your crochet bucket hat? I use this as uh, one of my favorites, Felici yarn. I'm going to talk while I grab the yarn in the corner. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just grabbing this yarn. Oh, I believe, what is it made of? Oh, I'm coming back, y'all. I'm close. I'm close. I'm walking around my table. I'm getting there. Ooh. This hat? Is used with Felicia yarn. I'm, I wish my camera truly picked up the color of this. It is so bright. This is 75% superwash merino wool and 25% nylon. I love this yarn. 
because of the color striping. I can't put colors together if my life depended on it. Most of my patterns are just plain one color, but variegated and striping yarn does all the work for me, but Felici is a great yarn. Love them. You can find this Felici yarn on crochet.com. So make sure you uh, look for that. It's easy to remember, crochet.com. All right. Oh, <laughs> I'm using Simply Soft, so I might not then. Like, that's Simply Soft. That This isn't Simply Soft, but that, uh, what's the mercerized yarn? Always has like a sheen and a drape to it. It just lays nicely on its own. Let's see. What else is going on? Oh, we got a super chat. Who super chatted? And I'm not going to forget to give you a, a spin. Aisha Flores, thank you so much. Our names are so similar. Mine is A-L-Y-S-H-A. -S so let's give you a spin. There we go. Share screen. You also get the crochet sandals. These right here. All right, so am I missing? Do, do, do. Okay, Leanne, do I need to block a puff knitted sweater? It has a two by two ribbing, which is smaller than the body. I've never blocked before. Well, with the ribbing, you probably won't need to block it. Well, well, one, hold on, puff knitted sweater. One, I don't knit too much, so I don't know about the knitted stitches. But anything that has, like, edging on it, I typically don't have to, uh, what is it, block. Because the edging lays it flat for me. But if you want to, if you see it looks funny, wobbly, block it. Blocking is a personal choice to make something look nicer to the person that you're giving it to. But whatever I wear, I don't block it. If it's for me, no. <laughs> oh, did I get another one? Hold on. That's the new one. Yes. Cherry B4. Thank you so much for donating. I don't got my wine today to give you a cheers, but we will spin the wheel of patterns. Who's calling me? Hello? Yeah, I'm on the live stream. What's up? Love you too. Bye. <laughs> okay. Did you just spin? My brain is so fogged from that uh, shot. So, yeah, because you won the sandals. Okay. I think you did. Just in case, I'll spin again because my brain is so off. Okay. After this, I am think I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> Purple slippers, if you don't like those and uh, if you were the one that got the sandals, I'm sorry. Here's the purple slippers. Guys, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. <sighs> oh, uh, Sherry, Cherry, uh, B48, I forgot the message. I just wanted to tell you that you are look, you're looking great. Oh, thank you. I feel like, boo. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm not going to be long today. I know our live stream was only 33 minutes and it's usually a whole hour long, but your girl needs to nap. I'm so tired. That shot took it out of me. So guys, anybody that won, please make sure you email me at littlejohnyards at gmail.com. And I'll, oh, see you next week. And next week, oh, we got another super chat. Next week, we're going to have the Crochet Entrepreneur on our YouTube channel. So, guys, if you were thinking about starting your own crochet business next Saturday, please show up because the Crochet Entrepreneur, she has so much information. I'm also going to be in a Crochet Business Summit. It is a free summit for crocheters to be a part of that you can, there's going to be at least 13 different speakers on there. So you can learn all the different aspects and how to make money with crochet. So please next week, make sure you check that out. Epic Space Dorito, I missed your little avatar face. Not working a Saturday for once. Hello. And no, and I'm ending it early. I'm so sorry. I'm ending it early today. I'm just feeling blah. Thank you so much, Tora A Star, and congratulations for winning the yarn. All right, guys. Oh, Glory, I'm sorry you. 
I'm ending early today. I'm sorry you're late, but I'm just feeling it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me here today. And I will see you all next week.